Hey guys, welcome back to another WXW What Exteener Wears. In this episode, it's pretty much going to be a discussion. You guys asked a really, really great question in my last episode in which I was showing how to style a white tee. And what you guys basically asked was what do you wear underneath that white t-shirt because, you know, my bra tends to still show. I thought that was such a great question and that actually inspired this WXW. I've been doing a lot of research, just looking at different ways, different things you could use to conceal your undergarments, whether, you know, your pants lines showing or you're wearing clothes that are too sheer in, in the fabric and you just want that extra coverage. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the fact that all nudes aren't created equal because we all have different skin tones ourselves. So just to show you guys right here, I have like three different kinds of nudes here. Let's start from the lightest to the darkest. The darkest is the one that actually matches me the most right now, you could probably tell. So basically, when it comes to just concealing underneath, say you're wearing this underneath a t-shirt or even a thin blouse like I'm wearing here, the closer the nude matches to your skin tone, the more it's going to look concealed. Like it's going to look very seamless and you're not going to see like a very clear-cut tank underneath what you're wearing. For example, this is definitely too light on me. This might not seem like a nude to some of you guys, but from my fair ladies, this is gonna be the perfect nude for you. This is one that I actually found at Nordstrom. It is a little bit too light for me, so even underneath that blue blouse that I'm wearing, you can see it a lot more clearly. But this top that I found at Forever 21, and you know what I love about Forever 21 is they actually have a bunch of different kinds of nudes in these tanks and it's like a couple bucks literally. This matches me really well. You could get like a bunch if you know that you wear a lot of sheer stuff and it's not gonna break the bank. Okay, another way to just cover up, you know, your bra, especially if you're wearing like a strapless bra um, and you just need that extra coverage, is a bandeau. I know this is gonna be very common sense to a lot of you guys, but it actually, this guy has like saved my life. It makes all the difference if you're wearing something where you need, you know, it to be strapless. So one of my more recent finds, which I love so much, would be this slip from Commando. And it's so great for underneath dresses that are too sheer. The thing is, I can even wear it underneath, like say I'm wearing a top and a skirt, because sometimes the skirt is a little bit too sheer so that you have more coverage down there, you know, you don't see like in between your legs and it just covers up more. And I love this because it's so, it is seamless and it just, fits so nice and smoothly on. This one is pricier, but I feel like it's worth the investment. I'm really, really loving this. I found it at Nordstrom. So I actually have quite a bit of like tops and dresses that are lower cut in the back. So what I would really recommend for something like that would be this from Victoria's Secret. It's a low back strap and it pretty much looks like this. And it basically ends up crisscrossing your straps. And then this would pull down the straps so that your bra in the back is just lower and it's more concealed. So I think this is really, really nifty to have if you have a lot of tops or dresses like that. If your dress does plunge pretty low down though, this might not cut it. You're probably gonna need like, you know, like the chicken cutlets or something like that so that you don't have anything showing in the back. If you're a racer back wear, you don't want like your bra strap showing, you could wear one of these kinds of clips. You can usually find them anywhere. I have a clear one. I used to have a nude one. I don't really know what happened to that one. But let's show you the black one since you can probably see that a little bit better. You would pr literally just put your straps in between here so this actually lays like in the center of your back and it would just squeeze your straps together. Here's just some other ideas just in case you may have not thought of it. So you know like these little shaping shorts, they're really popular right now, they're everywhere. What I love about these is that it's excellent for when you don't want panty lines. So you would wear this in place of actual underwear, you know, like your usual kind of briefs or whatever type of underwear you wear. It's just seamless because this part right here goes down to your thighs. There are longer ones too, so if you don't want, because you can get that thigh line too if it's like really tight what you're wearing. So the longer this part is, the better. And you can find these pretty much anywhere. I sized up on it, I got a medium because I didn't get it for the shaping aspect. And I'm sure some of you might be thinking, why not just wear seamless underwear? I've tried seamless underwear. I have this pair from Victoria's Secret and it just doesn't hug well. Like this just slips and slides all over the place, which is uncomfortable to me. And really it's still, you can still see the panty line for the most part. I mean, even though it's seamless, it's just that 
I want that like full coverage, you know? So I'm personally not a fan of these. If you like it, that's awesome. If I were to recommend a pair of nude panties, I would, re would recommend these from Gap. They are like almost completely cotton. I think it's like 97% cotton or something like that. And these hug the bum well. They don't like shift around. I think they're really comfortable. I literally have like five pairs of these. We're really getting close and personal today, aren't we? <laughs> Definitely have some cotton underwear. You need to let that area down to your breathe. So don't keep wearing like the nylon spandexy stuff all the time. Traditional classic half slips are gonna be a great option too. I really needed some myself. Um, they're also the kinds that are more tight, like that commando full slip I showed you. If you want something that hugs you a little bit more, you can get that kind as well. For those of you who need something short enough, like say you wear you know, some short skirts, like I like wearing some short skirts myself, I would recommend trying to find something around the 12 inch or 14 inch range. Um, because as I was shopping for these, it really made a difference. Like even this white slip, this is 14 inches and it might look short enough, but even on some of my skirts that I find a little bit longer, that, that aren't too many, you would still see like the bottom peeking out. This one right here is a 16 inch, and this one's gonna be great for when I'm wearing those maxi, like maxi skirts or maxi dresses that need more coverage because sometimes they are pretty see-through. <laughs> that is that for this video. I hope it gave you some insight on ways you can conceal your undergarment. Continue asking your questions. If there's anything you would like to see, um, anything you'd like to see for my next WXW episode, please share. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.